So I found this on a cauliflower. My first thought was it was a silkworm. And then as I moved it, I was starting to think, well, is this a baby hornworm? I'm not 100% sure. But then I come over here, and this is the plant that I found it on. And look at what we got going on here. I'm not 100% sure what that is. I'm going to have to figure this out. That's a blood worm or That's something. Blood worm, huh? Second blood worm. Well, Farmer Forest says it's a blood sucking. <laughs> it's, it's a, a second blood worm that's attracted blood worm. Uh -huh. to actually cauliflower. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to figure this out. There's some damage, there's lots of damage going on in here. Oh, here's another one. Okay, I'm gonna have to be on the warpath here. Okay, yesterday I came out here. And I started inspecting stuff and I found what I believe is a cabbage worm. I've looked online, it fits the profile, fits the characteristics of everything. That's I think what's going on here. And they're hitting my my broccoli, my robur or white cauliflower, and my purple cauliflower, as well as I'm finding it in the red Russian kale, which is in the aquaponic system. Now, to start off with, this was real subtle. Over the last couple of days, I started noticing some of the leaves were like kind of getting spotty. My first thought was that's from me not being really precise with my watering, water splashing on the leaves, sun burning the leaves. That's kind of what I thought at first when I noticed this. But over the last three, four days, I've noticed it just like, it's not subtle anymore. Now it's just like, it's smacking me in the face. It's like, whoa, something's really going on here. Um, so then I found the worms. I did a little bit of looking online, come to the conclusion that I've come to. Now, something's gotta change. I'm gonna have to eradicate a lot of this stuff at this point. Like this plant here, I mean, I know it looks really bad right now, but this happened very subtly over a few days to where it didn't look like nothing, didn't look like nothing, and then, whoa, what happened? That's where we are now. Now, a lot of this stuff, a lot of this cauliflower and broccoli, um, I think it's it's pretty much, it's time to pull this stuff regardless, because I mean, like this broccoli right here, it's getting ready to bolt. I mean, there's a few things I'm gonna salvage as best I can. You know, like this plant here, uh, I'll let that one go a little bit longer. I don't know if there's much that I can expect from it because we're getting late. Some of the stuff I planted late, I kept it in pots, the little pots, probably a little longer than I needed to. So, you know, whatever, it's learning experience. It's figuring out my time frames and all that stuff, but you know, I'll harvest this guy. Um, this one I'll keep, this one I'll let, no, this one I already harvested. This one I'll just kind of wash down and try and salvage as much as I can. I'll let that one go longer, let that one go longer. I'm gonna do what I can with what I got to keep it, what I can going as long as I can. But here in the aquaponics system, I got a lot of stuff that's just going to seed. So really, I just need to kind of do a, an overhaul on the aquaponics anyways. This bok choy is totally going to seed. It's showing um, like signs right here that there's stuff going on. This bok choy is going to seed. I will keep this one. I cut the head off of this one a few days ago and ate it in a stir fry. And uh, you can see it's kind of starting to, to rebound and get another harvest out of it. So I'll let that one stay in here. But these other three bok choys, I've been eating off of them, but they've gone to seed. I'm gonna keep this kale here, but a lot of this red Russian kale, I've eaten so much of this stuff. I know this seems like a lot of stuff in here, but it's all been hit. It's all been hit really bad. And I, we're at the end of it anyways. I need, I kind of need to cut my losses at this point and regroup. So this, I, this one kind of hurts me because I know I could get some more stuff out of it, but this stuff's just been hit pretty hard. And all my lettuce in here, um, I don't know that it shows so well, but this stuff, it's bolting on me and it's really bitter. It's past the point of where anybody really wants to eat it. So my lettuce is going, my kale's been hit. The aquaponics needs an overhaul plant-wise, so we're gonna address that. I'm just gonna get, today's pretty much just gonna be getting cleaning house, getting all this stuff out of here so I can make room for new stuff. Okay, so I got time right here. This is on my west wall, and I've got my broccoli and cauliflower on the south wall. One thing that I've learned through my little bit of research here is that this acts as a deterrent when it comes to companion planting. So next time I get my cauliflower and broccoli going full steam in here in the greenhouse, I'm going to be basically dispersing this within everything 
for companion planting acting as a deterrent. So lesson learned on that. I will definitely put that into place next time around. You did? Well, here's a clear cut sign of an issue. Oh, you like scared me to death with that. <laughs> I literally freaked you out. Yes, you did. You come out of nowhere with a toad in your hands. You need to jump out of my skin. I finally found the toad. So this guy is running around in the garden. Yeah, I found the big fat toad. All right, be nice to him. Go put him back. Nice and easy. Yeah, sometimes I come out here in the middle of the night and I see that toad walking around. It scares me every time I see him because he's so big and I'm like, I want to make sure I don't step on him. Yeah, that, like... Well, we got a couple of big ones out here. Yeah, two big ones. All right, okay. You go have a happy day there, Mr. Toad. Okay, well, this one here, I feel like the last shot was more like leavings. And I feel like this one is probably more like eggs. I'm not 100% sure what I'm looking at, but I'm just seeing signs of signs of problems, things to look for. This is very disappointing. Oh, uh, it's I... happening with this one too. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, it has eggs. Yep, it's got eggs. Okay. This one's got a. Uh, this one has eggs. This too. one's got a worm there. This one has eggs. One there. And this one has eggs on it. Here, tear this one apart, George. Oh, tear it? Take that apart. Let's see what's inside there. In this? Look, there's already two worms on there. This is hard. Let's see what we got. Is there more in there? One sec. Oh, one fell off. Three of them. Four. Four of them. Okay, so big discovery here after watching this thing move the way it's moving. I yeah. think these are called catap cabbage. cabbage. I keep saying it. Cabbage loopers, not cabbage worms. And the reason I say that is because they raise their body in order to move. Caterpillar, cabbage worms have legs. Cabbage loopers do not have middle legs, so they raise the middle of their body to keep moving. And that's exactly what's happening right there. I got one in my hands. So got... Looking at it online, it says they're a, a green yellow. But this is just, I don't know, to me, this looks just green. Yeah, same with me. Green and white. Yeah, so that's what we got here cabbage loopers. Cabbage worms are velvety green larvae. They have a few faint yellow stripes. They are not to be confused with cabbage loopers, which are yellow-green caterpillars. Unlike cabbage worms, cabbage loopers raise and lower their bodies as they move because they have no middle legs. Okay, some of these are more purple than others, but all of these are purple cauliflower. And this is what made it through the audit process here without any signs of, of, of worms or eggs or damage to the leaves. So I've got uh, five of these guys that that made it through the audit. Then over here, some of these have been touched on the leaves, some of them haven't, but all in all, I think a lot of these are kind of just starting to bolt on me. A lot of this is broccoli. So, you know, I planted some of this a little late as it is, but um, it's on its way out regardless. I, I'm not expecting, I wasn't really honestly not expecting a whole lot out, out of this stuff, but I'm gonna keep this here and just see if it does anything for me. And then over here, this is where I'm cutting my losses. This stuff is like clear infestation or it's stuff I've already harvested and was just trying to get another round out of. Either way, this stuff, it's gotta go. These things are basically at the end of season, so I'm not gonna break out any neem oil or anything like that, but I am gonna give them a good spray with water and hopefully that'll be enough. If something comes about from these, then great, but if not, I, I'm, my expectations are low, so we'll do this and we'll get what we get. Cabbage worms, cabbage loopers, makes no difference. Pretty much the same thing. Regardless, I gotta address what's going on in here. This has gotta go. Whoa, look at, this is one that George pulled out. 
We're gonna get rid of it. Look at that root. That's some root. That is quite a root. All right, well, I'm not gonna be too disappointed over what happened today. Um, everything that I pulled has, it was either bolting, I planted it kind of late, um, is going to seed, it's just way past its prime, or or a lot, some of it too, I've even like harvested a lot of stuff off of this stuff, and I'm just kind of waiting for it to like give me like a second round if possible. So, you know, anything that I pulled today, it's, I feel like it's kind of crying over spilled milk. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to be uh, frustrated by it, but the, the bug situation kind of was just like the nail in the coffin, so um, it is what it is. It was, it's, it's time to pull all that stuff, and the broccoli and the cauliflower, maybe, hopefully, some of this stuff um, I feel like is good. Some of it's like, eh, a little iffy, but even with the stuff that's iffy, I, it's kind of like I, I've, I see it wanting to bolt, so it's going to be what it's going to be. Um, it's all good, but... Uh, I'm gonna take a little bit of time. I don't have too awful much stuff that I can put back into the aquaponics. I mean, I can get creative. I'm gonna to have to. I'm gonna to have to figure something out. I got a few things I can throw in there, but that's gonna to have to come another day. So, at this point, I'm out of time for today. Um, check in. See you guys tomorrow. Thanks for joining me.